Yeah, unfortunate for I'm hit there. I, I just don't know uh, what happened to him because he was looking really comfortable, but going down to two SDs and now he's in loser's bracket. Oh. All right, so we got the other side of winners semis. Yes, we do. Arvark versus Nico. Yes, we do. Uh, let's talk to Nico a little bit about this match coming up. I was telling him, man, uh, I, know, I know you're really committed to this solo show all the time, but he does have a really, really good Cloud. And Cloud, you know, historically does amazing versus Villager. I just, I feel if he just gets back into like a situation where he just needs to go Cloud, to, you know, stay alive in this set, I, I definitely think you should probably go for it. I agree. But he does, you know, he's committed to his solo main uh, show. So. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully we'll do that. We'll see. This matchup can be problematic for sure, though. Uh, off stage, I, I don't see how Shulk really gets to recover low against this character. Uh, she should just be a bowling ball most of the time. Oh, yeah, 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 close it out. yeah, he's been getting so much reward off those, man, every single time. Yeah, Arvark likes to jump in a lot of situations because, you know, Villager has really good arrows with the neutral air and the down air. Can kind of uh, relieve a lot of pressure in that way, but Nico has the range to where if Arvark jumps away from him to kind of, like, force him to uh, run in on an attack, he can just punish that with, you know, well-spaced back air. No, absolutely, and the thing about it is because of how it... Uh, how Villager was operating because it's a projectile. It has low priority, so yeah. it will lose to the disjointed sword. Yeah, and that's something that you know he's not going to be. Arvark's not going to be really too used to because you know unless he's doing the Villager mirror, which you know it's not going to happen anytime soon. It's like okay, who else do I have that can actually combat my aerials like I did? Yeah. Um, but nonetheless, he's able to take that stock off of two scoops, the Nico yeah. and Nico just chose to get the. Uh the hit with the air slash because you know he wasn't able to avoid the pulling ball without dying. So. Yeah. Okay. Nope, just not gonna run into that tree set up there. Oh. Oh, that's death. Whoa. That was a super good read. Damn. That was really smart, man. Damn. Uh, a lot of people don't know like the duration of Shulk's vision. Like when it comes out, they kind of like wait it out, think it's not active anymore, but it's actually really active, especially the first time he uses it. Yeah. And right there, Arvark just tried to swing because you, you, you saw the startup of the move. They're like, okay, it's been a little bit of a time. I can swing now relatively safely, but he goes like, nah. I got the punch ready for the axe swing. And yeah. Yeah, that was just a really, uh, really smart play. Yeah, that's why when you are going up against that move, I try to tell people all the time, you should pretty much be charging a smash. Yeah. Like, charge a smash, then you let it go. That's how you should work in that scenario because otherwise you're gonna kind of wait and try to time this thing and all of a sudden you just get like destroyed. Yeah. All right, Eagle's gonna take game one in the best of five. Arvark's gonna choose to run it right back to Smashville. Uh, try to do a little bit better. I, I honestly think he can definitely you know close this, this match out. Oh, this is a really good chase sequence right here for situations like good this. There, but not gonna get the one he wanted. Yeah, like, in, in situations where, you know, uh, where Shulk wants to use, like, his jump mode to get back to the stage with the aerial mobility, Villager actually doesn't really have to respect that too much. He can oh, just... Pitbull, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just remember now the person that he would be so upset about it. Yeah. Oh, Dime will be Pitbull off stream. Yeah. All right. I mean, he's, he's been trying to do that for a very Yeah, long it's, time, it's so. been a lot of sets yeah. between those two. Yep, so... Definitely about time. Anyways, going back into this match. Okay, good for a good there. Okay, set up the tree situation. Got to be careful. Okay, so I actually like Villager in a this situation where you know he's just using shield mode because now Villager can zone really freely. Like you just run away from Shulk, set up a lot of pressure without really worrying about uh, getting punished and overextending. No, exactly. Oh, good there. All right, off chase opportunity. Gets him out of double jump. Good yeah. movement around that shield. Nice shield pressure. Trying to maintain this still, getting him in the air just where he wants him. I don't call him jumping though. Wow. Alright. 
we are gonna get the chase here. Oh, he tries to go for that B yeah. there. I actually like the delay from Arvark there to not necessarily commit to his B immediately and just throw out the forward air just in case Niku, uh, Niko tried to throw out an aerial right there. Right. Because if he did use the B, he would have been sitting duck. Oh, got a right double jump. Yeah, it's going to be Man, and that move just covers so much space. Yeah. Especially when he's in jump mode. He just goes so deep off stage and just swings at you. You can't really do much, especially with the air dodge. Yeah. You're looking good right now, though. All right, here comes Buster mode. Yeah, um, Nico's been punishing Arvark for jumping a lot so far. And that, yeah, that's definitely something he's not used to because Villager lo loves to, you know, space the forward airs out um, at a range where he thinks he's just safe. But yeah, Soak's hitboxes can challenge that a lot of times. Wow, yeah. using the hit of the air slash yeah. to uh, cancel out the bowling ball hitbox. Yeah, really well smart done. recovery. Well done. Okay, this is a chase here. Oh! oh. Uh, I don't know if it was a footstool. Or if he just fell down. Yeah, he, 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 he dipped low because, you yeah. know, he saw he was getting chased. All right. And Villager has a decent enough recovery where he can go really low and then wait out an attack and come up. But he was too scared. Yeah, even if he did, you know, go low like that, he still had to commit to the up B and he would have gotten uh, hit regardless like that. So what he gets, man, trying to chase for that quick Chris, man. You can't just get those for free. That's not how it works. All right. Nico. Going up 2-0. Looking really nice in this match. Looking like, you know, he doesn't really need Cloud in this matchup. Like, he's using Shulk's strengths in the way that uh, Cloud does well in this matchup. Like, really good range. Really good at keeping Villager out. Even though his uh, project or his aerial is a lot slower. What do you mean? <laughs> Is that really what he said? Oh, are you serious? What? <laughs> what does that mean? That's funny. Dude. Okay. Wait, did, 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 <laughs> can you come with this man? What? Okay, anyway. Why did his friend talk? All right. <laughs> anyway. Oh, dude, that's funny. <laughs> oh, man. All right, I'll write the thing right now. Definitely don't agree with going so deep off stage like that, though. Yep. Especially after what Nico just did on your last like, last game. Giving him a chance on a free edge guard would be really detrimental to your health. And wow, living that up to not even in shield mode. Honestly, I thought that was a stack. It's normally, one of the just really get killed moves. But. Okay. Wow, it'd be out the axe swing there. I actually thought Nico was just gonna uh, get rid of the tree with like a F smash hitbox or something like that. Right. Staying really safe. Yeah, I like that. Uh, staying, like staying outside the range of the Loy Rocket, weighing out the in lag, and then just getting an easy cross up. It has a lot of uh, start up lag that a lot of people just aren't recognizing when they fight this character. Yeah. They just kind of let them use the Loy Rocket for free. Uh, good wait. Uh-oh, and he's going to have to recover here. Oh, got a balloon. Oh, yep, gets him out right back out. Wow, that's, a that's stock. enough. Wow. Beautiful cleanup. Yeah, even Villager can't do much about show going deep off stage like that. Yeah. Especially I mean, using jump, jump mode. Yeah, he has ra it's range. So, I mean, at that point, when you're in a, when you're forced to use a recovery there, there's nothing really any, any character really can do. Yeah. Villager's uh, up B. He's just a sitting duck for most yeah. you know, hitboxes. So. Really oh, clean wow. edge but yeah, that's a lot of damage. Ring into one tree, already at 47%. I like the choice of uh, shield mode in this situation too, because when Arvark does put the Lloyd out, he has the speed to just contest the lag on that move and just pressure him even easier. Drop shield in the last hit there. All right, that's not bad of the year. Yeah, doing a lot of good shield pressure, but I actually haven't seen uh, Arvar go for that many grabs when he puts Nico in shield. Ooh, great oh, tech, tech, though. Yeah, yeah, Very, crucial, yeah. crucial tech. Absolutely. Okay, and he's gonna be in shield now. All right, nice use of the grab. 
Completely negating that Lloyd hitbox. And he up into the grab yet again. Now he's in smash mode. Oh, and smash mode yes. works against him. Yeah, he's in the back kill. Yeah, I like the up tilt there. Uh, Nico was just waiting for him to hold shield so he can get it down throw yeah. at the ledge in smash mode. But Arvark swinging the up tilt. Really good up close option for Villager. And a really good kill move, especially when Shulk's going to take bonus knockback. So good choice. Staying alive in the set. 2-1. Yeah, but this is definitely going to be a, a difficult one for sure. Even though he won that, it was kind of like super close. So Arvark's definitely going to have to see if he can figure out some more stuff to make it a little bit more of a, a, a clean win. Yeah, so far, you know, Arvark just been getting off the ledge with the same stuff that you would normally see from villagers. Oh, nice jump there. But, um, most of the time, villagers want to get off the ledge with forward air or, or low rapid. And Nico's just waiting that out and hitting him out of the air every time. Not even going to let him use the forward smash either. Nice job, one. Got trees coming? No. Again, trying to find the tree. He's gonna just gonna wait for the time. Good chase, double up bears. Yeah. Definitely um, want to see him do that a lot more because Shulk doesn't necessarily have the best landing options. Like, any character that has good juggle tools gives Shulk a lot of troubles. So if Arvar can keep Nico in the air, um, force the air dodges, he can force him off stage and then really you know, get some easy stocks like that. Good dash away. Back. Gets him right. fair. This is where Arvark's been having the most trouble so far in the set. Oh, okay. Lord 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 Rocket, good production. Shield. Now right. oh, he's gonna go for jump. Oh, uh, yeah. He, you gotta recognize when uh, Shulk's in jump mode, he's gonna kinda like jump in certain spots that uh, to like, kinda overshoot where he would normally land because of the actual extra mobility he gets. Yeah. You have to place a hitbox in those um, spots just so you can get some punishes. Oh, well, he kind of just let him. Okay, he's gonna get the F tilt kill anyways. Yeah. But he just let him put Lloyd Rocket right in front of his face. Yeah. He has again, all the 30 plus frames, man. Yeah. And Before the hitbox isn't difference. active, so you can just kind of do like a like angled F smash probably and just get an easy stock. But yeah. Something to remember in the future. Okay. Really good shield pressure with the axe swing there. Back throw, he's chased with these nares. No, we're not gonna get anything. We off, nothing, no Monado right. on right now. Uh, if he got like a down throw fair string, that would have been really good for him. Force him off the stage. Okay. Oh, good swing again. Yeah, uh, he clashed timing. with the hitbox yet again. Yeah, beautiful timing. He goes looking really nice in this matchup. Just really good, like, anti villager um, strategies coming out. Oh. Another air dodge punish. Okay, and this is great Going for him. To go low. He has no jump. Uh, doesn't get the dare as he wanted, but well, not, not too bad. Again, you see the notice how that nair just pretty much made that that fair from Villager and Nurt. Oh, yeah. good reversal right there. Yeah, he needed to throw out a hitbox instead of air dodging that situation. Yeah, and he goes, and he goes for air for dodge. Wanted to end him life. No, not gonna work. Shield Monado online right now. I this love the fact that Nico is able to still pressure someone when he's even when he's in shield. Yeah. Just the way that he utilizes it in the timing is so good. Yeah, just like you were saying earlier. Ooh, Ooh. got a shield poke. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. Okay, so Armor, like, he's relentless when he gets the axe out. Like, he'll just keep swinging regardless. Yeah. Um, and that time it actually paid off. Like, it, it doesn't matter if you block it, he just kind of holds out for the chance that you'll just, you know, do it. Um, a shield drop at the wrong time, a right. really easy shield poke, and yeah, yeah pays out for him there. Three, so that, that's going to actually bring us to game five. Wow. Uh, once again, Arba kind of clutching out these last hit situations in moments where it just looks like Nico's ready to just close out, close out the game. Definitely go either way here.
So the, the his main problem is this set has just been how does he really get to center stage safely? Uh, Nico just every time he's committed to use bring out a Lloyd Rocket or uh, he's up B, he's just been getting a lot of hits. Okay. Yeah, every time he puts out the Lloyd Rocket, he goes there to punish before there. Yeah, he's, he's getting a lot of more uh, good forward air, like slingshots, but they aren't converting the edge guards, and that's really what I would expect in this matchup since Choke uh, has such a forward recovery. But yeah, he has not been able to exploit them like, that much at all. Oh, gets reverse fair. Safe? All right, good fair. Actually, this is going to be really dangerous because Smash Bros. is online. He just, wow, yeah. he didn't even need the spike. Exactly. Bonus knockback there. You're forced to use your up B, no hitbox. You have to just hold that there right there. And yeah, Arvark's kind of been recovering in the same spot as well. So Nico just waits out the Lloyd, maneuvers around it, and gets his uh, his hits in from there. We've seen it time and time again. You get good timing on the throw. Uh, uh, damage. Yeah, Arvark's definitely trying to swing a little bit. He definitely wants to get this stock off because he sees Nico is pressing him really hard right oh. now. And <laughs> That's what the real pressure chase looks like. Down. Yeah. yeah. Platform assist to the rescue there. Yeah. And again, man, it's so crazy because you know when you play a character like a villager, you know, you're usually so used to characters just simply not being able to challenge any yeah. attacks like that. But again, we saw so many challenges coming out of uh, Nico there because again, he, he can't. He can afford to throw out those destroying the hitboxes and he's just going to render fair, bare. Even the fourth smash, yep. you know, such a strong, dangerous move. People are usually scared of, you know, even rendered that hitbox in there uh, by just simply throwing out an attack. So yeah, at the right time. Yeah, so really great understanding of that and the reward. That was really good. Yeah, it just stopped a lot of the bare essentials that you usually see out of Villager to actually even start up some kind of offense. And uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely gave Arvark a lot of trouble. So. Definitely. And uh, Arvark talks about matchups like that. Um, 